Moving on to some other news now, UNICEF has released its Children with Disabilities report for 2013 and alarming facts have come to light. The report points to the need for recognizing the rights of children with disabilities to give them equal opportunities. The report comes just days after a visually challenged class 12 student. Topper Karthik Sani was turned down by the IIT JEE but accepted by Stanford University. Karthik Sani has a super academic record and a 100% sponsorship from Stanford University to pursue his computer science degree in the United States. Ironically, his first choice had been an IIT college in India, except the special assistance he required to take the IIT JE exams was never given to him. Why can't we try and understand the practical difficulties that a student with a disability faces? Why can't we get over that perception of ours that a blind student can never go into an IIT and an IIT? And I've had people tell me actually that, oh, look, IIT is only for intelligent students. What are they trying to put across when they say that? Karthik's concerns are exactly those reflected in UNICEF's latest State of the World Children report, which focuses on disability. The report's most fundamental thrust is the obvious but urgent need to allow children to hone their talents rather than concentrate on their disabilities. It says children with disabilities are most vulnerable to violence, abuse and even exploitation. Consequently, they are less likely to go to school or receive health care. Well, there are major social stigma. The parents themselves are not uh, giving the information about their child, so they don't exist. They don't have a birth certification, then they don't attend school, they're not part of the census, and they're not part of the program. So we have to start from the beginning. According to the 2001 census, one in every four children in India is disabled. The UNICEF report also highlights the need to recognize the rights of children with disabilities so that they can truly be integrated and included in society. Disability rights activists in India have long been fighting for inclusive education. The right to education, they say, is often forgotten when it comes to children who need it most. What your ultimate aim is that he should have an independent lifestyle and that will come from interacting with normal kids or people, normal people. So that will start from schools, not from exclusive centers. Just like we are handicapped to understand what she's saying without subtitles here, when they do come on, they help change our understanding. Children like her too are hoping we add the subtitles to their lives without thinking of it as charity. In New Delhi, Keith Kiangre for NDTV.